Assalamu alaikum. This is a question on work and energy. A three kilogram block moves in a straight line on a horizontal frictionless surface under the influence of a force that varies with position. So this is a force that varies with position, which means it doesn't have a constant value over this position from zero meter to eight meters. How much work is done by the force as the block moves from x equals 0, the origin, to x equals 8? So I need to find the work done by this force as the block is moved from the origin to 8 meters. This is an example, as I said, on uh, uh, work done by a varying vo force. And for a, a work done by a varying force, uh, the equation is the integration or the area under the curve of since the force is a horizontal force one dimensional so basically it is the area under the curve of the force multiplied by the uh, the distance so i need to find this area under the curve since the the region to cover is from zero to eight and i should put in mind that this area because it's uh, uh, lower than the reference where the zero uh, force is zero, then this this area is a negative area. Clearly, it's shown from multiplying this by the x by y. So, as a result, I need to to simplify my problem. I will divide those areas into one, two, and three. So I have area one, two, three. So work equals Area 1 plus area 2, of course, minus area 3 because it is negative area. So this will be the total work done by this varying force. So the first area is the base by the height, 2 by 20. So it is 2 by 20. Then half the base by the height is a triangle, so half the base, which is 2, by the height, which is 20, then minus half the base, which is 2, by the height, which is 10. As a result, this will be 40 plus 20 minus 10, which gives 50 joules. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. This question on work and energy. A block of mass 10 kilogram moves at a constant speed of 25 meters per second on a frictionless horizontal surface. The block hits a, an initially uncompressed horizontal massless spring of a spring constant K equal 3.4 10 to power 4 newtons per meter with one end of the spring fixed to a rigid wall. Find the maximum compression of the spring. We can make a, a simple drawing of the question by showing a surface that's frictionless. And then we have this spring uncompressed initially and then attached to the wall. And then we can show this mass or object hitting or uh, heading toward the spring to compress it and afterwards this mass will start from V initial which is 25 meters per second the mass is 10 kilogram and the, the co uh, constant of the spring or spring constant Hox constant is K equal 3.4 10 to power 4 newtons per meter and the the uh, the mass will compress the spring and then stand still so we need to find the distance from the initial position the distance of compression of the spring to find the distance of, comp of compression it clearly this is a, a work or energy problem with all forces conservative, there is no work of friction here. So all the forces here are conservative, which means the change in the mechanical energy of the mass should equal zero. 
As a result, this change in mechanical energy is due to change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy should equal zero. So it is K final minus K initial final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy plus U final minus U initial should equal zero. So this is the potential energy of the spring, which is half Kx squared. This is the kinetic energy half mv squared. K final should be zero because at the final uh, position, the, the mass will, will stop, stand still. So minus half mv initial squared, which is 25 meters per second, plus u final is half k x squared, where u initial should equal to zero as the distance of compression initially equals zero, and this should equal zero. I can arrange this equation. I can actually also cancel out this two, that it's in all terms. So as a result, I need to find x. So k x squared should equal m v initial squared. So x will equal m v initial squared divided by k. And this would equal the mass, of course, square root. Square root, the mass is 10 kilograms. And v initial is a 25 squared divided by k, which is a 3.4, 10 to power 4. And this should equal 0 0.428 meet meters. So this is the distance of horizontal compression of the spring. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. This question is on work and energy. A block of mass 2 kg is thrown vertically down from height h equal 30 cm with an initial speed v initial onto a spring of a spring constant k 2200 newtons per meter. If the maximum compression of the spring is 15 cm, find the initial speed of the block. So clearly as this mass of 2 kilograms is thrown vertically down with a certain velocity that I need to find V initial, will hit this uh, uncompressed spring, it will cause some compression. This compression is given by distance x of 15 centimeters. So in order to find the initial velocity, I can utilize the conservation of mechanical energy since all the forces here are conservative. So I can use the equation that change in mechanical energy should equal zero, which means E initial should equal E final, as this will equal E final minus E initial should equal zero. Then E initial is made of a kinetic energy. This is the initial position. And this is my reference point. This is zero reference point for the height. So it's made of kinetic energy, half m v initial square. And it's also made of gravitational potential energy due to this height relative to this reference point, which is distance h. So it should be m g h. This should equal the final energy will be compressing the energy, potential energy of compressing the spring which is half k x squared minus, since it's below the reference point, minus mgx. So this is the height of compression, distance of compression below the reference point. So I need to substitute for a negative sign. As a result, I can get rid of all the, um, no, I cannot get rid of the masses. So I need just to rearrange my equation. I can put this with move this term here, so it will yield half m v initial square plus m g h plus x should equal half k x square. Remember that I need to find v initial. So I can just rearrange this. So um, I can say that half m v initial square should equal 
half k is 2,200. x squared is 0.15 squared. This is the uh, maximum distance of compression on the spring. And this should equal minus m, which is 2, g, 9.8, multiplied by h, which is the height, initial height, 30 centimeters, plus the 15 centimeters of compression of the spring. So now, um, I can also um, substitute here half by the mass of the block is 2 kilogram. So V initial square should equal this value. So half by 2200.15 square minus 2. 9.8 multiplied by 0.45 and this will be 1 and then v initial will be the square root of all this which will be 4 meters per second so this is the initial speed that it was or velocity that the mass was thrown vertically down thank you